Good evening, everybody. And a great big money thumb salute to you all out there. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. The Mighty Thumb Club welcomes you all. That's right. Come on in. You bring the milk. I got the chocolate syrup hooked up from the top shelf in the cabinet back there. Together, we combine the forces of awesomeness. We stir it up. We drink it down. Because it's going to be a good night tonight, baby. That's right. Oh, yeah. It's Super Bowl Monday, the hangover day. Welcome back, everybody. How we doing? Oh, what's up? Mm. I keep looking up here at my clock. The weather clock. It's 17 degrees outside. Here in the New Jersey, 17 degrees. Dude, you gotta be kidding me, man. What? Whew. Gotta make sure the window back there is closed, dude. Holy cow, what is up, guys? Boom, 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 boom. Let's see, who was first tonight? We're gonna go old school tonight. Ladies. And gentlemen, please put your hands together for the one, the only, Raven Knight. You were first 
in chat tonight. Wow, that, that thing wasn't even lined up, was it? We gotta fix that. Woohoo! Hyperion's here, coming in a second. Oh, and bring up the rear and third. Mr. Derek with the mighty unicorn. Appreciate it. Sam coming in fourth. What's up, guys? It's supposed to be minus 20 wind chill in Oklahoma. No. No way, dude. No way. I'm so pumped for tonight's stream. It has nothing to do with the game we're playing. It has to do with internal stuff here, but I'm just like pumped. I'm going to show you guys why I'm pumped. And it has to do with touch portal coming through being clutch again. Actually, they were clutch back in November. I just never knew about it. I completely missed when they introduced this plugin and I'm so pumped for it. I was up till three in the morning, Saturday night into Sunday, reprogramming everything. And it's so worth it. 16 in Michigan. Supposed to be minus six on Sunday. I saw that video Legacy posted. Starting his car in minus 30 up in Kenyatta. Jeez. That's crazy, man. Crazy. Let's see. It's been averaging about 15 here lately. Tonight, it's 36. I went out in a t-shirt. It felt great. Putting hair in his chest. Hyperion. Ah. Love it. Oh, man. Um, I'll show you guys stuff later. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Because last night, that Super Bowl last night was just so meh. Oh, my God. It was so meh. Had a couple bets on the game last night. Didn't hit a single one. Big goose egg. We did not win any bets. <laughs> like, I had a couple bets I thought were marginally realistic. And I had a couple bets that were just off the wall lunatic. You know? And I'm like... Nothing crazy. $5 bet, $10 bets. But some had... You know, like a two to one return, three to one return. Some had, you know, like 101 return because they're so ridiculously off the wall. But I'm like, was so, so bum. Where's the piece of paper I had that had the, uh, do, do, do. I'll pull, I'll rip them off to you. Oh, no, they're my, where are they? Here we go. All right, let me get this real quick. I'll show you what I had. Okay, file. Open. Just go recent. Trying to find it. I don't know where it is. I, I, yeah, I got no idea. Documents. There it is. Let's load it. Different count. I don't know where it is. I lost it. All right, one more try. Then we're going to give up. Got it. Okay, here's what we had. So, bear in mind, I did the... I signed up for the FanDuel promo they had going on where they gave you 55 to 1. You just had to pick a team. Lost that one. Pick KC. 
But because I picked KC, most of my bets, not all of them, most of my bets were Tampa Bay heavy to cover in case we lost that one. I had, I had Tampa Bay getting three and a half and the over, which was 56 and a half. I had, if Kansas City is ahead at the first half, Tampa Bay wins the game, you win 80 bucks. If Mike Evans and Tyreek Hill both score a touchdown. If Travis Kelsey and Gronk both score a touchdown. So close. That was the closest one we came to winning. If Brady throws for 300 yards and Mike Evans has 100 yards receiving, get 20 bucks. Uh, if Mahomes has three passing TDs in... No, if Mahomes has two passing TDs in each half. If Brady has two passing TDs in each half, that would have paid 75. Close. Close. If Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, Mike Evans, and Gronk all score TDs, that would have paid 150. Um, that didn't happen. If Mike Evans scores a TD, and Gronk scores a TD, and Tampa Bay covers a spread, win $72. Didn't have that. We had two out of three of those. And the last one is the promo if KC wins. So we lost them all. It was brutal. Brutal. Wait, Sam says you guys can't hear me? My hearing can hear me. The the fifty five to one was pretty cool because it you, if you read through all the terms and conditions in the uh, the fine print, you didn't have to keep it and re roll it. You could cash it out as soon as you want it, but they limited it to just five dollars. So you couldn't you couldn't bet a thousand dollars on it. You would only get fifty five to one on the first five dollars you placed. So that was the only reason I did it. Otherwise, I wasn't going to bet the game at all. The streaker allegedly bet 50K that there would be a streaker. Wait, what? Seriously? <laughs> I didn't see anything about the follow up on that. That's hilarious. Go, Pete Rose. Twelve hundred dollars, dude. Whoa. That's awesome. What was the bet, Hyperion? Oh, you got muted. Okay. I know the music's loud when we when we come in from the intro. That's gonna go down when we go into the game. I didn't know it was overpowering me or not. I did a lot of testing Saturday night with volumes and tinkering and controls and stuff and things should be ironed out to like freaking money right now. The Super Bowl was weird. What's up, Mark? The Super Bowl was weird. It There were a couple things going on. I didn't agree with all of the defensive penalties the Chiefs are getting thrown on them. There were they deserved to get some. I'm not saying all. But there was also a decent amount of penalties that were hey, it's a Super Bowl, let them play, you know. Defensive holding penalties that weren't really holding, more like bumping and grinding, not really holding, you know. I felt, not that it would have turned the game around, but I think they got a raw deal on some of those. But what really killed them was something they couldn't fix. And I was having two backup O-linemen start the game. Reminded me of when the Raiders were in the Super Bowl, 2002. And Barrett, Barrett, the week of the Super Bowl, Barrett Robbins, starting center, went AWOL, ended up in Mexico. And Adam True had to be, the, he was the backup center, had to start the game. And then granted, that wasn't the downfall of the Raiders' loss. That was the Raiders not re-scheming for the game and Tampa Bay knowing everything they did to win the game. That was, that was the downfall. <laughs> but that's what it reminded me of, man. 
Brands vs. Pats was his worst Super Bowl. Nah, it just wasn't as electrifying. I don't think it was bad, though. I think it was people were disappointed because they thought the greatest show on turf was going to annihilate the Pats, and the Pats were underdog. And I remember Belichick coming off the game, being interviewed in the, in the end zone at the end of the game by the sideline reporter saying, nobody thought we were going to win, and if we line up tomorrow, people would still think we wouldn't win a game. And I remember going, yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right, last March, when it was rumored Brady was going to sign with the Bucks, about $100 on to win the Super Bowl this year at 12 plus 1200 odds. Nice. Good for you, Hyperion. That's awesome. Hyperion's gift and subs everybody tonight, guys. The rest are paid good by Tom. <laughs> Did you see the stat? Somebody posted on Twitter the stat that uh, somebody up, somebody tallied up the yards Mahomes ran just scrambling around, and they said he netted over 500 yards r rushing pre-pass and pre-rush. Oh, Ravenite just posted the same thing. I saw it. Even my wife said, like, in the fourth quarter, Mahomes just looked like a zombie out there. Couldn't. You didn't do anything, man. Mark's like, on to the next. <laughs> I had a little bit of extra money to put on the game. It wasn't a ton. Um, like 50 bucks total on all those bets. And it was like, cool. It was the true definition of if you have extra and you're willing to, and you're able to do without it, bet it. And we did. And... I'm not sweating nothing because I lost them. So. Would have been nice to win one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I did it, two people in the face and they dropped the ball. At the end of the game, if Kelsey caught that touchdown, at least I would have got one freaking bet. <laughs> I like those emotes. Hi, Piri Zero N gifted a tier one sub to Mark 688 McCock. Hi, Piri. 13 gift subs in the channel. Are, are you done, Brian? Hi, Piri. Thank you so much, dude. Mark, welcome to the Mighty Thumb Club. Enjoy your red thumb, buddy. Enjoy your emotes. And enjoy the, the, the voice commands that are sub only. head over to the discord mark you can go to the the voice command channel and see what they all are mm, yes all right let's get into the game we're gonna do the deadpool side quest tonight into the game we go <laughs> yes exactly stuff like that you guys can do all right Okay, okay, okay. We got on this ship anyhow. Yo. Yo. <laughs> we got a lot. We got a lot. Energy refill. Uh, Valentine's Day card ticket thingy. Buff info, which I probably should read, but I haven't read. I have stuff I haven't claimed yet. Oh, well. All right, I have to get an AQ, but I don't know who I need for the side quest. You guys are saying romance synergy, so domino and... Who was it? Colossus? Domino and Colossus. Let's see. Derek says, didn't bet the game, but I spent 150 on deep dish pizza. Wait, dude, I was so... First of all, wise investment. Second off, I was so disappointed in my wings we have a place in town called king wing it's awesome and their wings are usually dominant they're the big thick wings they're usually loaded with a good amount of breading and they're loaded with the sauce they put on them and i used to get like the honey barbecue so i'm not a heat guy get the honey barbecue and to dip that with the blue cheese and those two married together are just so good and i was jones informed all week and then we ordered them 
and it, it well it snowed i had to get out and do the freaking driveway and the sidewalk again and it snowed six inches but i took care of that the guy comes with the wings we get him inside and i open them up the wings are totally plain and i got honey barbecue dip on the side and i got blue cheese on the side and i was like what the so I get on the horn. I'm like, guys, what, what, what happens with the wings? They're, they're not, they're not seasoned. The way what the, the toss is on the side. I didn't ask for that. And they said on Super Bowl Sunday, everything is coming prepackaged. They 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 can't keep up with the orders if they have to do them all, and dress them all. So they literally are just frying or frying up wings on one conveyor belt, and they got the sauces loaded up in the fridge. And when somebody orders, they're just like, boom, 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 out the door. And I'm like, <sighs> I'm like, I get that. But I really wanted the good wings, man. Not a heat guy, unfollow. <laughs> exactly. Not a heat guy, unfollow. No. I can still do it on a dare, but I'm not doing it for fun. Omega, Domino, Colossus, Red Hulk, Matt. Uh, that's probably my team. <laughs> oh, unless we get Professor X in there. Do we need Omega for anything? Like, I know I need Omega for the Colossus synergy, but do we need him for any challenges in there? Well, you need that for the romance. And... She needs both, doesn't she? Deep buff lasts a second longer. And yeah, she needs both of them. Crap. It doesn't matter. Make your asshole scream in pain. It's not worth it. <laughs> well, if we bring Professor X, we're basically poison immune anyway. So I'm going to... Gonna take Omega out. And bring the Trinity. Oh, he's poisoning me anyway. Okay, we're good. We're good. Go. Right on cue. Good to see you, Summoner. I'm actually going to read through this because these are pretty funny. You and me teaming up at this time of year. Name a more iconic duo. So what's the plan this year, you ask? Like many men before me, instead of sulking during the month of love, I decided to rekindle an old flame. Who wouldn't love an unsolicited advice from a previous partner? What a compliment. The funny guy. Is the Psycho Man boss in here more annoying than the Cavalier EQ? No? Okay. Oh, yo! We missed a parry? What? Off to a good start. Oh, he's got a node. Light him up! Boom, boom. Yeah, the Psycho Man in Cavalier EQ is a little annoying. It's just a long fight. Because he's either got a power gain or something, and I just remember it being a long fight, and the only way I got through it 
without him getting any buffs was to bring Symbiote Supreme. I thought I timed that perfectly. Wow, I really couldn't punish that heavy. I missed the window. Wow. Yeah, the scrolls SP1, yeah. Don't mess with the SP2. I th same thing for Psycho Man. Got a Warlock to rank 5 last night. Oh, yes it is. Dude, can we stop getting hit, girl, please? How's he blocking that? I have no idea how he was blocking it after a heavy attack. There's not, is, right, can he not punish his heavy anymore? Yeah, I agree, Sam. That that tech global in EQ definitely seems like it's made for Warlock. The Cavalier EQ, they definitely stepped up the nodes this month. It's a lot different than last month. you bring Omega. Wow, two in a row that are no crits. anti-unicorns 
Yeah, what was all that stuff with Kabam Mike? Is, is that Angela really getting a buff? His his crypto tweets were backfiring or something? This boy here needs a uh, buff, man, so we can make him our favorite champ again. Any day, buddy. Another anti unicorn. Come on. Brutal. The new She Hulk looks horrible. Someone made a rant about it. Cuddled it. Excuse me. It's. Wait. What's the new She Hulk? Don't change Moon Knight's animation. I love his animations, but yeah, if they could retool him somehow, that'd be great. On, big boy throw it wow i didn't think he was gonna come at me all right i guess we're never gonna crit on our l2 the entire quest we haven't crit on our l2 Finally got two. Two. Jeez, that was bad, man. They updated her appearance. She looks like a dude now. Oh, in the comics. Okay, okay. Thank you for clarifying. I know. I know, Sam. I know. Hello, boss. What do we got here? We got... The attacker tends to stun the defender. The stun is reflected back onto the attacker for two and a half seconds. This ability will then go into cooldown for seven seconds. Wait, that's a global node? That hasn't happened on any of the other fights. Bleed vulnerability? That would have been nice to know. All right, Domino. You got to do this before you die. Wait. Okay, that's going to be a little tricky. Okay. Oh, and power shield? Oh, yeah, yo. Heal you up a little bit. Oh, wait, the power of love cancels it out? I'm so confused. Where did it say that? Oh, 
cancels out the reflect, but not the timer. Throw yours. Oh, yeah. 107. Yeah, I love power shield. Oh, we just died. Oh, it shows up on the screen. Yeah, power of love. I guess we got to do some more reading. It's never been our forte here, right? Oh. If I got you guys, let me know. It's not going to outlast or buff, is it? Ah, uh, bummer. Whoop, whoops, my bad. Just pretend you're playing Masochism or Iceman. Yeah. Well, I've noticed that, I noticed it happening. I just didn't know it was a different node. I thought it was... Technically, masochism, but stun only or something. Boom. I didn't know the romance energy cancel. I would have thought it canceled out the entire node the timer and everything that would have been cool all right let's finish up that one again there's only two paths right we're taking someone else um you uh you two You guys are right. It was right beneath it. If under the influence of a romance synergy, any reflected stun does not trigger. Each failed stun reaction will grant the attacker a permanent passive fury. And that works for everyone on your team, I believe, right? Isn't that what people were saying last week? Yeah. Let's find out. Yes, it does. Thank you, Mr. Mark. It was a little glitchy here. Dude, what? I need I need the Huey Lewis Power of Love soundbite to come up on the screen every time that comes up. That's the power of love. Or you give me like a pool of like 10 different Huey Lewis sound clips, that'd be great every time the power of love comes up on the screen. It'd be awesome. Quite frankly, son, you're just too damn loud. Oh! Yeah, that worked.
Boom. We got it, baby. We got it. So I did a whole bunch of work on between touch portal on the tablet, OBS, and my voice meter mixer. It, it's oh man, I'm trying to think of where to start. It's like it's like an inception of connections of macros that I had to completely redo. But, uh, basically, I had a couple different sources going into OBS so I could adjust volume and stuff on different sources. And then a couple different buttons in voice meter and a couple different buttons in, in touch portal all kind of inter intertwining. And I've cleaned it all up. So I, everything I have on my computer funnels into voice meter, which is the mixer. And then there's one output from the mixer going into OBS now. So I make it sound good in my ears and then I send it over to OBS. And that's what I spent a lot of time testing. Um, the macro pieces I completely redid. That's more linking touch portal to voice meter. It's so like if I hit, if I hit mute, then if I unmute, and that's just muting OBS. So everything still plays in my ears. It just doesn't go out to OBS for you guys to hear. Um, stuff like that. Microphone mute, system mute, mute all. Uh, headphone volume versus my speaker volume. And then the up and downs. And then a bunch of things that need to go on and off. Different toggles that need to go on and off. They all, the way they used to link was so convoluted. Like voice meter has buttons you can program, macro buttons. And you run scripts within those buttons. But in order for touch portal to activate those buttons, those buttons needed like a keyboard shortcut, like control F22, something virtual that's not on my keypad, right? And then I would tell touch portal to hit virtually control F22. It would hit that macro and then trigger what needed to be done. Um, the problem with that is that yeah, every now and then those virtual key presses never sent. And so then when they don't send, then when I have a toggle button here in touch portal that lights up red when it's off or red when it's on and gray when it's off, now it's out of sync with touch portal because it didn't actually trigger. So that whole backstory was key for this. Back in November, the thing I missed is touch portal. Somebody in touch portal created a voice meter plugin. So instead of having to leverage the macro buttons via virtual keys, you now leverage everything through a plugin that actually hits all the buttons exactly with basically their API that they created. And it's back, it works both ways too. So if I accidentally hit mute on voice meter, it'll automatically trigger on the tablet as well. So now everything is just linked so much cleaner and so much better. And I'm just, I don't have to worry about is touch portal working as much as I used to. And that's a big, 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 big quality of life improvement for me during the stream. You know, how many times do we start to stream and I have the wrong voice, right? Because that when I hit my, my button, it kind of like says, all right, get everything set to start the stream, my pre-check button. The, the voice action didn't take properly because who knows why. Right now it is, you know, or my microphone didn't mute when I started the stream because, or didn't unmute because the, the virtual key press didn't work. Now that's not even a thing anymore. That's a really cool and really leveraging a lot of the power of voice meter with the plugin they made for the, uh, for touch portal. Really, really cool. The only, I, yeah, I know a lot of you guys don't get it. It's kind of a techie nerdy thing, but it just... The more stuff I add, the more things I want to use, the more they have to work together. And the, the more likely that there's a chance they won't. So this cleans up a big way how those two things interact with one another. And just makes it more reliable when I'm streaming. One last thing I got to start worrying about. 
Or one less thing I have to worry about when I'm streaming now. When I hit that button, did it actually work? Because it hasn't worked 20 times in the past. So did it actually work? You know. We're going to be a lot more reliable on those buttons when I press them. And that means I can focus on other stuff like entertaining you guys and putting out God tier content. Like not creating on our L2 for the 15th time. As opposed to troubleshooting the first half of the stream, you know? Super Thor. I like techie nerdy things, says Derek. Derek, congratulations. You're done with your move. That was a beautiful picture you posted in line the other day. You said it was west side. You were facing east toward the Sears Tower, or whatever they call it now. Which, if my geography is correct, that means the Hancock building is, from that picture you sent, to the left and east and to the left. And Soldier Field is east and to the right. I wish I knew more about streaming. I could teach you, you everything you, <laughs> you want to know. <laughs> you don't know what that's from, Sam? I was actually getting ready to remove it from the soundboard. I, I got to remove some of these from the soundboard. Probably like eight of these are going to have to go to make room for other buttons. I've only been there once, Derek, but I it had an impact on me. I love that place. To the point where I probably won't like it as much the next time I go. Like, we had lunch at Dicka's restaurant, but I don't know if he has more than one. You know, did we go to the real one? I mean, the stuff in there, was legit. it was his, but... Was it like the original one? If he has more than one, did we go to number one, two, or seven? Maestro. Oh shit, I got hit on all that. <laughs> Sipping my coffee and just staring. Yeah, that's awesome. What a great feeling. I'm happy for you, man. I really am. That's awesome. It's called something else now. It's called what? The Willis Tower? Maybe we'll call it the Steiny Tower. Miles should have had a buff. He's on the list, right? I, saw, I thought I saw somebody on... on the Kabam team say something on Twitter like he's going to get like a quality of life improvement or like a, a flashy improvement or something.
Remember when the stuns from the neurotoxins used to bypass? The stun immunities. Those are good times. Bad for power shield. Bruce to play Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Go back and play the OG trilogy. You'll never pick up Valhalla again. <laughs> really? That's a shame. I like all the Viking stuff. Uh, it's from Ampling, but that wasn't enough for me to. Wait. Yeah, it's from Airplane. When little what Timmy Johnny whatever comes into the cockpit, see the captain for the first time. Uh, all right. So it says Cavalier EQ Skull Crest, Skull Quest. Oh, scroll. Jeez, I can't read. Quest with Skill Attacker Global. Who did we use for a Skill Attacker? What skill champs put Shock, Disorient, Incinerate, or they evade fifty percent? Fury. Yeah. We tried Fury, but it, I didn't work out Fury. I forget who I used for that. I might not have used the skill champ. I mean, Blade's the only one I have, but Blade's, Blade's doesn't fit that quota. It's every other quota, but not that. Oh, wait. Yeah, because Ra Ravenite said that exact same thing for me when I couldn't get enough charges. To keep them from evading. Yeah, get into an L1. That's right. Um, but Sand doesn't have a skill uh, five star. He was going to get a four star Nick Fury. Might have to do it the hard way, Sam. Which stinks. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Oh, it looks like a big plane. Same global node. Okay. What's the one on this side? Curling. Okay. Let's get it. Okay, the only heavy attack Colossus can punish in this game. Kaboom! 
I all can see everything, but they didn't see how bad he would be in the MCOC. <laughs> it's a lot of C's in that sentence. When pulls L1 will incinerate. Ooh. I mean, you could Archangel all that. Four star, right? Four star Archangel might be better than a four star Fury. For that particular quest. I don't know. You can parry heavy. And as long as you have, you know, uh, stupefy maxed out, you can probably get his full heavy in before they evade after the stun, you know? Oh, wrong, wrong gray circle. Sonny, I watched Jose Canseco get his ass kicked by a college kid in a box match last weekend. <laughs> Canseco tried to blame him, his arm afterwards. All I could think of was, oh, my arm, it's broken. <laughs> yeah. And then Dr. Beeper comes over. He goes, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that, that's not good. <laughs> Dude, Sam, I, that is the first thing I think of every time I stare at it. What you talking about, Willis? Which doobie you be? <laughs> Braddock, what up? Who would win between Colossus and Luke Cage? I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know. Luke Cage is vulnerable at some point, right? Can't go against my boy Colossus. He's my boy. get hit by that that did not happen i honestly forget who i used for the super scroll boss i don't remember him being that difficult
Oh, it's Rocket. We don't always get the bad animation. Whoa, wait, whoa, no! What? I evaded the heck out of that. No! Oh. What the hell am I looking at? Yeah! Whoa, wait, whoa, no! I did a double swipe, what? but he didn't go back the second I time. I evaded the heck out of Whoa, wait, whoa, no! Holy shit! That hit for 50k. Ah, oh, bummer. Ah, oh, boy. Oh, well. Oh, well. Trash Panda for the win. <laughs> Suck it, Panda. Master Splinter Jr. <laughs> Master Splinter Jr. <laughs> what, dude? Oh. Spider-Man Symbiote is not the ugliest champion trashy game. No, no, no. What is it? 85 second armor break on his, his heavy attack? Boom. Guy's beast. Guaranteed crit on his L2 if you can get there. <laughs> if you can get there. Dude, my second swipes are not being picked up tonight, apparently. Hey, two times in a row now. I think we're in trouble here. I broke power of love. I gotta watch this fight back. Something's not right. Twice I thought I broke the parry stun thing, put it in the gray, and then the next time I went to parry him, it still didn't work. We are not in good shape for this psycho man, dude.
total face block, right? In the gray. Okay. She'll quit. She'll crit all day in AQ. Man, you get her in a real quest that matters. Nope, no crits. Yeah, Sam, that happened to me at least once already tonight. They totally purify or just cancel the stun. power game uh while wow. close to the defender attacker gains a fatigue debuff well you can heal off that uh attacker suffering from a debuff and he's got that stupid thing too okay let's go should have brought mags. Yeah, if I had one, I'd bring them. Stun immune thing reset? What happened there? You gotta be kidding me. I had a concussion on me. No, I didn't. All right, check this out. still has the green thingy up the stun thingy up right i'm gonna parry him the parry's gonna show up on the screen but it won't be taken away okay parry still there Am I, right? Am I, that should have gone away. That should have went into the cooldown mode for seven seconds. Oh. 
Like all goofing aside, that should have been went into cooldown mode, right? Uh, I haven't read his personal description. I he 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 may have something. If you guys want to check that? Go ahead. I don't know. Because then I try to parry again and I get pummeled. Because I think it's off now. But wh where's the what's the concussion from? I don't have a concussion on me. It came on after the parry. It went parry, heal block, dexterity. When did I get a dex? I, that concussion came and went so fast. But that was after the parry. I should have gotten that cooldown. Oh, Brian's in here. Hey, what's up, Brian? Uh, there's a node on well-timed blocks. Let's see. Might have something to do with the con concussion. It's hard to tell. It's in his abilities, right? It, it's. It should have went parry. No, it should have went. Parry concussion. Then heal block. But it went parry heal block. Concussion. That's weird. I. All right, so this guy's just freaking stun immune. We'll... Before I throw AA at him, we'll throw this guy at him. Push into an L2, shoot. I don't know what that looks like. Okay, it looks like that. That's what it looks like. Just 
Oh, 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 I, this guy's a tech champ, right? I'm bringing somebody that I can wail on him with. Yeah. Um. Boom. You. Go. Really venom wail on this dude. Blah. The long one. Group without suicides and PvP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really, I had a clip on it?
seriously? All right, battle the Hulks. Wow. Wow. Come on. All right, I'll finish him. I love his L3. Hey guys, do we have maintenance again tomorrow night? So sad football's over. The day after the Super Bowl is like the worst day. This year was the first year I didn't take off work. The day after the Super Bowl. Holy bits. We don't need no stinking maintenance. McCock maintains itself. That it does, Edward.
<laughs> Maintains itself. Yes, it does. Boom. I should probably do maintenance every Tuesday until I can get through a damn fight without the game. Yeah, I hear you. Dude, what's Airwalker doing to you? Killing me. <laughs> Valid. I walked into that one. I walked into that one. Oh, dude, I didn't tell you guys. Um, My package from Moose came today. My package from Moose came today. I got the... Uh, the Warlock card. Dude, yeah, let's full screen this. Boom. Don't know if Moose is lurking, but boom. We got the Moose merch for being a Patreon. Mr. Moose. Warlock card. Here's the other side. I love these cards. They remind me of the back of the Transformers, the G1 boxes you got from Toys R Us. You have all different stats on them. Like, I want to put on, like, the special glasses you have to use in order to read them. I love these. Laminated looks sick. It's awesome. Got that. We got the um the the organic virus keychain thingy. Right there, boom. And of course the the warlock bust. This is awesome. So cool. I really want to colorize this. Um, with maybe marker and then like a gold highlighter for the accents. Um, I want that to look really good though. So I'm going to plan that out because I'm not an artiste, but this came out. I can't believe this is done on a 3d printer. It is so awesome. So, 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 so awesome. And of course the card from Moose himself. Thank you for supporting printing with Moose. Thank you. And welcome Steine. <laughs> love it thank you moose this stuff is awesome happy to support you brother fellow member of the community this stuff lined up over here ba boom he's doing really cool stuff with the 3d printing man i love it i love the stuff he's coming up with so cool so if you guys don't at least support him on twitter Get over. I'm not saying you gotta become a Patreon to support him, but get over there, show him some love, get him some hearts, thumb thingies, whatever we do on the Twitters and the socials. Show the guy some love, man. He's doing some really cool stuff. He was in here the other night too, hanging out. So you never know when you're gonna see him. 
He sees you when you're sleeping and he knows when you're awake. And then he 3D prints you so you go home and bake. Cookies. I want some cookies, baby. Yeah. But cookies. Cook All right. We're going to unload hell on this guy. Let's go, Venom. Come on, punk. Come on, punk. Come on, punk. Pause. Uh, boom. I want to make sure I actually cut that clip out of the moose stuff. Get it up on Twitter, man. Good stuff. Okay, we're back. Shum, 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 shum. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Light him up. Come on. Oh, man, I missed the parry again. Back against the wall, buddy. Come on. Oh, shoot. You can get hit by those? Oh, come on. Oh. Come on. Douche, just throw your fucking special, dude. Come on. Ah, oh, shoot. Sorry. My bad, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed a close up of me just grunting and moaning. And I don't have alert set up on that on that screen, so that's why it didn't come through. But thank you for trying, guys. Appreciate it. The Venom fight went pretty well. Um, I just couldn't bait a special for a while and then I got pinned and died. So how are we doing on these these shard thingies, man? I haven't opened a single one of these crystals. I don't even know if I have that many. I don't feel like I have that many of them. 55, 50? How many do you guys got? We did Cavalier EQ, we did this, we did the first bit of arena. Um Okay. What anything else in here? Like are there any more in here? No, there's nothing in here to you just get them from that side quest, right? I feel like I should have more, but I don't know. I don't have a baseline. I don't know who else has any.
Yeah, let's have some bring some different champs into AQ, spice it up a little bit. I opened up three cabs. So you twelve thousand how'd you get twelve thousand total? What have what I have bleh, what have I not done? Oh, they're in the gift. I haven't done any of the gifting stuff. Oh, there's more difficulties on the side quest. Ah, okay. But the calves are 4,000 each. They're not 2,000. I got to do the gifting stuff. All right. We'll pick some people to gift shit to. Dude. Dude, Derek, are... Our B, I don't know if BG1 was like this, but BG2, we weren't, we weren't this far into section two until about like 11 o'clock this morning for <laughs> yesterday's round. <laughs> and then today we're still like right through it. It's funny. I uh, guess we'll be up here. Okay, so one thing I noticed so far is I need to lower this a little bit. Okay. Sam, I'm going to replay your thing because I need to hear what the TTS sounds like when I'm fighting. Holy bits! No game on screen. Okay, that's better. The game was a little loud in my ear. I had a lower volume on the game. I couldn't hear Brian over the game. Oh, shoot. It's that node. I should have brought Guardian for the new crap. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I, I assumed it was going to be spotty yesterday with Super Bowl and everything. That's cool. We got a good group of guys. We know what to do. We get it done. For the most part. Everyone has an off day here and there. That's cool. That's, that's retirement alliance life, though. That's... Our thing. Oh, he's not gonna heal because he's a robot. Crap. Whoa, baby. Whoa, baby. Whoa, baby. Here we go. the tree when you receive those valentine envelopes they have shattered heart inside okay i haven't done any of that stuff yet forgot about the envelopes forgot about the envelopes i'm looking at this warlock thing and i'm like the the bust that i got from moose and i said gold Highlighter. I meant gold outliner. So I gotta get a very fine temp one. But I think that would be sick. So you like do a first layer of him just in black and then get the gold outliner to do the details of him. I think that is gonna look sick. The vision in my head looks sick. 
we'll see how the execution comes out. This is a dangerous throw in this L2. Okay, good. She didn't crit. Angel get in on the fun here. Man. Warlock is a tall dude, man. eyes are the outside rims of his eyes are blue and he's got a he's got a blue highlight on like his chest the medallion is blue and inside his mouth is blue too but i can figure that out oh is mole man ready to get destroyed he is okay. What we got here. I never fight this guy. Ah, I've never fought him post buff. Oh shoot. Um, he's super unstoppable. Defender unstoppable buffs gain fifty percent duration. Ooh shoot. And strike back. And you have what? All right, here we go. Don't hit his block. Thank you. That hasn't changed. Okay. Oh, shoot. He purifies. This is bad. Should have punished that. Shoot. Is he not purifying because of Neuros? Because that, that that's nice to know. And I gotta watch the the note on me. Right. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. We got him. Woo. Woo. I mean, we took way too much damage, but we got him into section three. Well, I'll wake up tomorrow. That'll all be done. <laughs> Only attack Hans Mole Man if I parry stun him or after he throws a special. It's tough. I love hitting into people's blocks. 
It's especially when you need to get field position back. It's a big one. All right, I think we're doing a contest of champions. I'm doing work this week off stream. I'm practicing in a, a test survival world in Minecraft on how to build that villager farm. And then we connect it to the carrot farm that we made so the villagers can get in there. I don't... I think we're just going to try and get two villagers. I don't think I'm going to build a villager farm. I think we're just going to get two villagers from the village over to my farm. The problem is the village is a little far away from the farm. And the only sure way to get a villager over there is to uh, put them in a boat and roam across the grass. <laughs> All right, let's claim, claim some of this stuff. Probably claim all of it. Hey, we both completed. Yes. Today is the 8th, right? Today is February 8th. Good news. One month exactly until my birthday. Jamrock shakes around the Mighty Thumb Club. Let's go. Dude, what? Did I clear all this out? This thing's... I, I actually want to read that. What's the crystal today? Ooh. What do you think? Do we go for it? Or do we just hang on to it? Just hang on to it. Ooh, oh, man. I don't even want to open them. I don't have materials to rake them up. It's never mind. I got to remind myself of that. We don't ever have materials to rank them up. It stinks. It stinks. All right. Um, we're going to call it here, guys. It is 1230 my time. A solid two hours in tonight. Got some of that side quest all caught up. That way, when the next week opens up on Wednesday, we'll be ready to go for that. Good to go there. The Super Bowl's racked up. I agree. This the February is usually the lull month until March Madness for me. Um, the very very difficult month to get through sports wise. But that all changed last year. <laughs> usually, it goes Super Bowl, then it goes lull. And then it goes March Madness, and then pitchers and catchers, and then March Madness, and then baseball gets a season and gets you through the summer until freaking um, hockey and basketball playoffs start, which I actually like. Can't watch them during the regular season, but I love watching them during uh, playoffs. And then back to football again. We'll get there. So... But uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging. I appreciate it. We are... What are we going to do tomorrow? Cavalier exploration. I think we'll continue with that. Yeah. The sooner we get done with that, the sooner we can do variant six again. But I don't really have interest in playing during the day i've just been playing on stream and just checking in doing what i have to do during the day but like when i go on lunch i don't really have interest in grinding out a quest here and there or making sure i'm using energy just like ah, eh, just like checking and do what i got to do and then get out so it's 
Cavalier EQ is going to take longer than usual this month, I think. So, but well, we'll take it one day at a time. But thank you again, guys. I appreciate the strong start this week. Monday rocked. Let's keep it going tomorrow. High energy, high octane, high chocolate milk, high everything. Have a good night, everybody. Be good. Be safe. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Stay mighty!